Today, we are going to demonstrate how to use AU FarmNet to identify SAE J1939 and J70A network. This is our new device. On the RS232 side, it's a DB9 female connector. It can be connected to the PC and for device maintain. On the bar side, it's a DB9 male connector. This male connector can mate with um, AU phone net cable. Let's connect them together. On the other end of the cable is a pigtail with three pair of uh, color-coded and twisted wires. The black wire is for ground. The red wire is for power. Yellow wire is for can high. And green wire is for can low. Purple wire for j 70 Brown wire for j 70 B minors. This is our testing network with backbone and uh, 10 J1939 J70 OA nodes. Each node has a DB9 female connector. Some of them already have J1939 and J70 OA devices connected. Some are not. We already found which cavity is power and which cavity is ground. But we need to identify which cavity can high, can low for J1939 network, and which cavity is for J1708 A plus or minors or B minors. Phonet will help us to find out. To make it easier to insert the phonet cable wires to the cavity of DB9 female connector, we added a pin to the end of each wires. First. We insert the black wire to ground position. Black wire to the ground position. Then we insert the red wire to the power position. You heard a beep and say the power LED light up. Which means phone net is running. A beep must be heard at power up. Next, we will use a green and yellow wire to identify J1939 network. We insert the yellow wire in one cavity and then try the green wire in the rest of six, six cavities. Then move the yellow wire to next cavity and use a green wire to search the rest six cavities and repeat until we heard a buzzer beep and saw J1939 LED light. Yes, we heard the beep and uh, all the J1939 LEDs are light up. So we found the J1939 network. Now we have found the J1939 network. Let's mark it up. The cavity for the yellow wire is for can high, and the cavity for the green wire is for can low. Let's unplug it. Next, we are going to use a purple wire and brown wire to identify J1708 network in the rest of five cavities. We insert the purple wire into any one of the five cavities. Then we use a brown wire to try the rest of four cavities. If no sound or light, move purple wire to the next cavity. Then use a brown wire to try the rest of four cavities. Once purple wire is in j 70 plus position, and the brown wire is in j 70 a B minors position. Buzzer will beep and j 70 a LEDs on phone net will light. We try one by one, one cavity, then the other cavity. Now we hear the sound and we see the j 70 a LED lights up. 
So we found the JSON MUI network. There is one more trick. Press and hold both up and down button. Buzzer will keep silence all the time until you turn it on.